Today on Singles Court, Ken can't believe that Kathy flew the coop. Halfway through the vacation, she ups and leaves. She took off because she's ticked off, and she can't bear to talk about it. But how can I trust you? Because I thought I could trust her. You guys have troubles. I'm telling you, your ship is sinking fast. And Rita has a beef with Carl's new lifestyle. No fish, no meat, no, no cheese. The guru of tofu is driving her cuckoo. Since then, our friends haven't been My back. He says it's the path of least resistance. I didn't want to hurt you, so See, I thought... I don't want to hurt you. You don't want to hurt me? Welcome to Singles Court, coming to you from the Singles Broadcast Network. I'm the show's producer, Michael Day, and well, let me tell you a little bit about our host. She's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's a brick house, she's Angela Siegel, relationship mediator. I tell you, Michael, you really know how to pour it on thick. Well, I'm feeling funky today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Smelling the same way. So Are you let's feeling get on me? The, I'm feeling you. All right, well, let's <laughs> feel this case. Uh, today we have Ken and Kathy. Now, they're here today because, well, they have a problem. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here. But uh, let's just get to it. Everything was going great. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, they went to San Francisco to celebrate their six-month anniversary. Then, all of a sudden, Kathy just ups and leaves and catches a red eye and leaves Ken all teary-eyed in San Francisco. I call this the case of, you left my heart in San Francisco. Mm. Well, Ken, what, what happened? Sounds like you looked around and came up empty. Well, I thought I was coming up full because uh, when we first met, it was like, you know, sparks. We were fantastic. We met in a dog park. I have a dog. She's a dog. And our dogs got it on. And uh, So did you? We did too, you know, okay. for six months. It was great. And um, that's what I thought it was. So we, you know, decided to go away, you know, celebrate our six-month anniversary. And uh, I say Florida. She says San Francisco. I'm like, great. My sister lives in San Francisco. We'll stay with her. Okay, so you made some compromise there. Things absolutely, are going absolutely. well. Absolutely, you know, I'm, my sister's a great person. I'm, we're twins, and uh, that makes know. her great. Yes, absolutely, because she's so okay. much like me. Okay. And uh, anyway, um, you know, things were great, and uh, she got along really well with Trudy. And uh, I don't know what happened. Halfway through the vacation, she ups and leaves. Trudy, uh, obviously, he's confused. Do, I mean, do you agree with the part so far that you all had a great relationship? Yes, I. As soon as I met him, I thought he was a fantastic guy. Um, he was a dog lover, which scored big points with me. He's got a great sense of humor. I thought he was a fantastic person, and I wanted him to meet my parents. The, the, the story about going to San Francisco and his sister, meeting his sister was wonderful. She was As just like I'm him. Here, I'm here, wonderful, like fantastic, great. Hey, I mean, I've been to San Francisco, it is fantastic. Well, okay, but what about, I'm sure you have, Michael. What about the relationship? Because it, it sounds like everything was perfect. It was. Everything was how perfect. Did, how did, it was moving along. Things were great. We were getting to know each other really well, and everything was working perfectly. It was like I had met my dream guy. Then you became up, upset about something, and next thing you know, what? I mean... She ups and leaves, you know? I mean, we have a great time. We uh, little picture here, just us coming back from Alcatraz. We had a great time. You want to see this? You're one, of, you're one of the few people that had a great time at Alcatraz. Yes, what we more were. Can you ask for? We, didn't, we didn't have to swim across shark <laughs> infested waters. It, I guess I'm missing the part. So, what did you do? She's gone. I mean, how did you. We try had to a great time. We, we came back, and uh, Kathy, or Trudy said to Kathy, you know, how would you like to go out for like a girl's afternoon out? I'm going out with my friends. You can come with me. And uh, I was like, you know, go take off. I'll, you know, I'll amuse myself. And uh, she did. Everything was fine, it seemed like. But when they left, they go out for lunch. They so, come back. Trudy's like, Kathy left. So Trudy doesn't know what happened. You don't know what happened. No, I'm so, so what do you do at this point to try to find out what happened? He Call should know her? what happened. <laughs> well, I don't. There's the thing. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. You're not telling me. I have to know. So you did. You Communi think. Communication's a two-way thing here. Yeah, but if you were to think, you would know Wait, what was wrong. Why should he just know? I mean, he's, I mean, granted, I can understand that obviously you were upset about something. Yes, and but, you should know that I would not just leave and just 
for no reason. Like okay. he should know why I would be so upset. So, and on the, are you a, are you one of the psychic network people, or I mean, how would you know? Okay. How would he know? I, I'm no JoJo, so okay. please enlighten us. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes, we went for lunch. Okay. Lunch was going great. We were all talking. I'm I'm an actress, and I've been getting parts and you know, having the opportunity to go out and read for big parts and I've and things have been going really, really well and I, I'm very proud of myself and I'm loving what I'm doing. Okay. I was talking to the girls about movies, some of them that I had bit parts in. The girls were, t we were talking about renting movies and Trudy turned to me and the girls and said, well, if uh, those movies aren't in the video store, why don't you go back to the adult section and check out this movie. Which? Hey, Kathy, which was a movie a porno movie that I did years ago that I told Ken about in confidence and I said to him please don't ever tell anybody about this I'm very very embarrassed about it I only did it because I was so broke and I had no other choice it's nothing that I would ever do again and I trusted him okay can I, I mean, obviously this is the first time that you're hearing about this yes okay yes she told but, me but, in it's, but it's something you knew about it was something I knew so about. So how did Trudy find out? He humiliated me or it, by telling Trudy, and then she tells all the, basically, I mean, the girls knew what she was talking about. It was obvious at the, at the table. I okay. told Trudy in the utmost confidence, we're twins, okay? I tell her everything, and I told her, you know, no, don't say anything. I'm just I'm filling you in on the history of this girl that I really, really like. Okay, yeah, but, but I, my question is, when you told Trudy in confidence, yes. who you, she told you in confidence, yeah. then Trudy told, you told Trudy in confidence, Yes. What made you think that was the end of it? Because it sounds like people's confidence is real loose. It's like a, a bag with a big hole in it. Because I thought I could trust her. And mm. um, you know, you know what? If, if Trudy you. said something in public, it, she didn't mean it in any sort of malicious way. She it just... doesn't matter. I was embarrassed. The, the point is, is that I didn't want you to find out. Through, I didn't want him to find out through seeing it or fr from his friends telling him. So I told him okay, something. Okay, Kathy. That's, so you're upset. Okay. Yes. Explain to me how you feel justified just leaving and never telling him just until now. Why? You should know. I mean, how, why would he know that? How would he guess that? Because that was the only thing that would have been the flaw in our relationship and the fact that... But you left. I, I mean, did. explain to me why you left and didn't even give him well, an opportunity at least to know why you left. First of all, I was so embarrassed I couldn't face Trudy anymore either. I, I, I mean, I, I knew that he knew already, but the way that... Okay, but that's one day. What about after you got home? What about when he called you and tried to find I out? I just figured that he should know. I was so angry that I was afraid to say anything because I didn't want... Back to my question. How would he know? I mean, did you put a tattoo across your chest? How would he know? Because that's the only thing that I've ever told him that would embarrass me or upset me. Everything else has been wonderful. So I okay. would assume that he would just... Yes. Yeah. Okay. And my question to you, Ken, is how... You know, how in the world did you think that in confidence... Your, even if she is your twin, would care as much as you're supposed to care about her. Because she cares about me, and I really thought that uh, we have a In a different a way, uh, I hope. Uh, well, yes. I mean, so, I mean, <laughs> you know, an Angelina Jolie it's, thing going it's on. Right? Okay, it's just, I mean, it, it's, what I say to her stops at her, usually, you know, and uh, obviously this time it didn't. So that well, how I, do you feel about that? I feel terrible. I didn't know she was going to say this to humiliate you. I really thought it was going to be... I'm sure she didn't say it in a malicious way. I'm sure but, she was just joking. But how can I trust you ever again? If, if I ask you, I beg you not to say anything, and then you say something, and then you're saying, well, you guys are the best friends. You tell her everything. Does, so does that mean that you know, not, I, everything I tell you, you should tell her then? I, you know what? Here is the issue. When I, I will come back with my resolution and let you know that you guys have troubles. I'm telling you, your ship is sinking fast. <laughs> Kathy, I thought I was a drama queen. You got me beat by a mile. Can information that's given to you in confidence is for you only. That's why they call it confidence. There's never an acceptable reason to share that information with someone else. You put Trudy's ears in front of Kathy's feelings, and that's disrespectful, and obviously she felt as though it was a betrayal, as most people would. Kathy, you on the other hand kept saying, well, he should know. He should know. He should know what? I mean, you're an actress. If a director gave you a role in a movie and didn't give you a script, you wouldn't accept the answer, well, she should know. Everyone needs to know 
what the rules are, what you expect. If there's a problem with a disappointment, if there's a problem with your feelings, it's your responsibility to communicate that to your partner. They should not have to figure out what's wrong with you. You cost this relationship valuable time because you all really could have settled this yourself. You didn't need me to tell you this. This is not new. You've learned this probably when you were seven years old. You know, no one is there to read your mind. You can't read another person's mind in a relationship. You know, relationships are about, as we know, trust. Um, and once that trust is violated, Ken, it's your responsibility to earn it back. I think this relationship is worth saving. But understand, you're the one that's going to have to walk the extra mile. And as far as secrets are concerned between the two of you, I suggest you keep them just there between the two of you. Twins or not, that's that in black and white. Next on Singles Court, Rita has a beef with Carl's new lifestyle. No fish, no meat, no, no cheese, no milk. The guru of tofu is driving her cuckoo. So let me make sure I understand this correctly. So no animals whatsoever. So for Correct. instance, you can't wear something like this. Hey, welcome back to Singles Court, the number one show on the Singles Broadcast Network as rated by me, the show's producer. But if you want a second opinion, you should talk to the host, Angela Siegel. Well, you're looking dapper again, I must say. Did Thank you get you. those glasses from the single store? Yes, I did. You like them? Yeah, they're nice. They are sassy, and I'm feeling sassy. And but sounding sassy. Enough about me and my fabulous wardrobe. Let's get on with today's people. Today we have Carl, who's a website designer, and Rita. Rita's a retail management person. Um, they moved in recently to test the waters. They're thinking about getting married and uh, taking their relationship to the next level. However, they've run into a bit of a problem. It seems as though Carl has been possessed by the spirit of Gandhi, and it's, uh, well, it's driving Reed a little crazy. I call this the case of the vexing vegan. Well, Reed, it sounds like there's trouble in, if you want to call it, paradise. Yeah, to say the least. What seems to be the problem? Well, I just want to start off by saying that I love this man, and uh, we're actually supposed to be married in four months, but I'm getting a little bit nervous because of his serious new change of lifestyle. I'll let him explain it to you, though. Okay. Well, well I've become a vegan, uh, and, and since I've done that, I've just charged up my life. Okay. I, Help me. What would be, what's a vegan? Well, a, a vegan can't eat any meat or meat byproducts, so no fish. No meat, no, no cheese, no milk, no eggs. no eggs. So nothing with a face on no it, No honey, if you can believe that. Well, honey exploits the labor of bees. And, uh, so let me make I sure I understand this correctly. Animals. So no animals whatsoever. So for Correct. instance, you can't wear something like this either? No, 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 I can't. But I don't judge people who do. Okay. Except for me. Except, okay, yeah. No, I'm not judging your lifestyle. You should try mine, it's great. <laughs> I'm not interested. Obviously, this was a change. So you weren't, he wasn't like this before. No. Okay, so. Not at all. What brought about the change, Carl? Well, well, a, a, a marriage, a wedding is, is a huge lifestyle change. It's, it's a rebirth, if you will. And, and I wanted to be as pure a human being as possible for this, for this marriage. Okay. So Rita, did he include you in this change or was it something no. he just came home and said, by the way, throw away everything with a face? No, yeah, everything kind of came, you know, started a couple months ago and I, I guess the biggest thing is, is the eating habits. I mean, I, I came home one day from work and I had this beautiful vegetarian casserole baked <laughs> and I, I gave him some and he threw it out because I had added some honey, honey in it. I, I, in it. I, and, honey. okay, so, so on top of the eating change, which is impossible to buy groceries for us, and I get yelled at for eating cheese. <laughs> There's this, uh, this thing called a, this tantric breathing exercise he does all the time. Breathing and he, is very he important. He meditates in the living room floor. and Okay, so that's new too, this kind of breathing thing. It's oh, too, so, oh, oh, can you put your legs behind your head though? Well, I'm working on it. That's Michael, what I mean. this is not Saturday. So Carl, explain to me, when you change this whole lifestyle, uh -huh. don't you think that the person you marry should have some say in that? Oh, she should join, honest to God, I'm 30 no, not years join old. join you. I, that's not what I ask you. Not join you. Some say. Explain to me how you plan to come home and just drop, basically drop this in her lap. Well, it's, it's, it's Angela, you must understand that this is, uh, it's life changing. It's it's like a religion. If you, it, it maintains the same devotion and it gives the same back. I, I am broke. so energized. Okay, I have from a question this. for you, Carl. Do vegans answer questions? Yes. Okay. Well, my question was, how did you expect to position this so that your fiance, soon to be your wife, could embrace your lifestyle? 
Well, she, she doesn't have to embrace it. I, I, I will respect her life. She just has respect. to respect you know, what I'm doing. Okay, so you know what? How does the he handle the fact that you're not a vegan? Not very well, because you know what? The worst part of it all is we don't have any friends anymore, okay? Oh, we have lots of he friends. Had, he decided at the start of this whole little extravaganza to have a barbecue. It was a tofu barbecue, so since then our friends haven't been my back. My friends fully support me in this, friends all of them. support you at Danny all. Danny supports everything Danny, I do. Danny, oh my gosh, Danny is the biggest beer. Chugger. Okay, you know what? I actually have Danny's number here, and hello, Danny? Yeah, I've got him on the line now, so we oh, can good. check with him. Yeah. I'd like to hear what Danny Help has Help save me. Me too. Go ahead. D uh, hey, what's up? Hey, Danny. Mm, hi, Danny. Hey, Angela, how you doing? I'm fine. All right. Are you a vegan? No, well, you know, I, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Carl was telling me about, all about it over beer and wings the other week, right? And, beer and wings? Uh, I, thought you, I thought you were a vegan. Doesn't that, I mean, they I, were, you, you they, drink beer? They were tofu wings. and Oh, tofu wings. And he, uh... uh yeah, I, I, I guess uh, I, I guess that's something that it doesn't have a face. Sorry, Carl. Uh, <laughs> Carl, you're busted. Rita, how's that make you feel? I know what he's, this is he's about. He's drinking beer and eating wings. Angela, can you excuse me for one second? I, I think no. I know what this is about. But why don't you tell me what you think it's about? Because obviously you've been talking about? to him. Yeah, what's it about? I think this is about the engagement. No. Yes, Carl, isn't it? It's about the engagement. I, Carl, are you, how do you feel about this? The truth about the impending marriage. Well, I didn't want to hurt you, so See, I. Thought, I don't want to hurt you. You don't want to hurt me. I thought I'd give her a way so out. So you're gonna so make this fake lifestyle and, and make me go and break up with you like the Rita the chicken. Rita, hello. Okay, question. Obviously you're upset. I can understand that. However, now you know he's really not a vegan. You should be happy. He's really who you thought before. And I don't. Think Problem I is, like he doesn't want you anymore. <laughs> he doesn't want you. Yeah, why is it so that you I don't? don't think I why like is it that you don't anymore. want to be married? Is it her? No, or it's is not. It the a, it's not. It's not you at all. It's, it's no, the whole marriage thing. The whole. I mean, I'm. I'm fine. The relationship so was you great. You lied to me. But it was just the whole marriage You're thing. You lied to me. Is what you it. did. I. You know, Chill out. Do you know how much work it was to be at this? Do no, you know how much to what kind of food I had to eat? But you. Yeah. I had to read that whole Feng Shui book from cover to cover. And I had to go through this and watch you. Change before my eyes, and you had the nerve! Michael. Hey, Could you sister. Throw, throw some wings at them or something, please? Cool down. Sorry, Thank you. Alive. Thank you. You should be. Carl, what is it about the marriage that you're so afraid of? Because you whole, say the relationship I, is fine. So I couldn't what is it? breathe. When we started living together, the whole marriage thing, I just me, man. felt constricted. So I, and I didn't want to hurt her. She's such a nice person that I thought I'd give Rita, her away. Out Rita, he may not have chosen the best route, but can you at least... Set aside your feelings for a second and understand his fear. Do you at least understand that part of it? I thought I was marrying a man. Not what you thought. That's not what I asked you. <laughs> Can you understand his fear? It is a big change. Most people, when they change. get married, it's Most a... people go about it in a little bit more of a mature okay, but, way. Okay, so he didn't go about it in the most mature way. But what did you do to help him through the process? You know he's afraid. What did you do? What did you do? I tried to talk to him. I tried to, you know, like, make his dinner for him. Like, you know, make him feel comfortable. Like, create a nice home environment, you know? Okay, and Carl, like, what did you do to let her know that you were afraid besides making up this elaborate lie? Or was that, was that your plan of action? Well, well that, that was my plan, yeah. You see, I thought if I made myself impossible to live with, she would get rid of me and, and, so and not feel bad. Me. I well, didn't you know, want to hurt your feelings. The onus is left on me, though. You get to walk out of this. Well, you well, know what? I feel bad. At this point, I think it's time to make a resolution because it sounds like it wasn't the lie that she had to live with. It's ultimately you. I'll be back with my resolution. This case is full of meat. I mean the good meat, the kind that good relationships are based on. Rita, you chose to ignore some signs of scary feelings. Clearly Carl was scared of marriage and maybe things were going so fast as you were getting for the, ready for the wedding and you were caught up in what was fun and maybe it was hard to recognize his true feelings. Plus the fact that he was hiding it from you made it difficult as well. But it is a scary thing for some people, especially men. And sometimes we have to open up and give the person the opportunity to tell us. And if they're not able to do that, sometimes we have to dig a little deeper and find it. It's not the end of the world because you end up with a good prize. It's worth it. You, on the other hand, Carl, what a wuss, hello, big baby. You know, you have to realize that making up a story, I'm going to make you hate me, that's very third grade. 
it doesn't work ever. It never, it always backfires. You, you know, you have to understand that trying to get her to feel a certain way, that's almost like putting together all the pieces on a board and hoping at one point they come together and become a tree. I mean, it just doesn't work like that. You know, you're taking two separate things that will never become something else. And I think you knew that you were in over your head before I got that phone call. You know, you all have a relationship that's worth saving. You love each other. And that's, that in itself is half the battle. But you have to understand, Rita, that you need to let him tell you about his fears. They're of the marriage, not you. He loves you. Goodness gracious, that's hard to find. Let him tell you about his fears, help him with his fears, and help him know that you'll be with him through thick and thin. So the two of you, go out, have a hamburger. It's on me. And that's that in black and white. Well, there it is. The West Coast party is the best coast party, if your boyfriend can keep his mouth shut. And you really can't meditate your way out of a marriage. Sounds like sound advice from the lady, Angela Siegel. Join us next time here at Singles Court, the final word for singles.